Hello, I'm the Reverend Dr. Katie Kumski. I'm a professor of psychology at the College of Staten Island, which is part of the City University of New York. I also serve as the academic coordinator of CSI St. George, which is, which is an extension of our campus at the, um, on the North Shore of Staten Island. Um, I have the fortune of being a, a year two grantee in that I received grant funding for year one and year two of my project. Um, and the title of my presentation today is Becoming Public Interest Technologists, the Importance of Marketable Tech Skills, Peer Support and Mentorship in Year Two. So year two has focused on broadening our institutional capacity for building a curricular and co-curricular activities related to public interest technology at CSI and at CUNY. As I mentioned before, our program is housed at the St. George extension of, of um, the College of Staten Island. And um, this year, our first cohort of Pitt students started their second year, um, while also an additional cohort of 20 students were recruited from four area feeder high schools and enrolled full-time at CSI. We've built, a two over these two years, we've built a two-year program that meets all general educational requirements uh, at our institution, and that will lead to an associate's degree uh, with the students having taken most of their courses with a focus on PIT. Both course cohorts of students are now forming an intentional PIT learning community at CSI and have become the foundation for a student club that they're in the process of chartering right now. We learned in year two that from year one into year two that uh, valuing diverse voices in student leadership and uh, the development of particular skills seem to underscore the foundation of what's important for the development of public interest technology. We realized that Pitt is defined by intentional skill building around leadership, critical thinking, social scientific methodology, um, and storytelling. Our Pitt learning community is over 70% BIPOC students and all of our students can claim identities that fall outside of the perspectives of dominant culture. And so in order for us to achieve our goals of equity and access uh, within our community, we've really had a participatory focus on how we develop our programming and how we involve students in um, what we're doing at the college. Um, and so that this, uh, focus on participatory methods in building academic programming and building an interdisciplinary field, I think is, critical, is going to be critical to the future success. In year two, we're also looking at what's next. Again, motivated by um, our students' impetus and, and their engagement in the PIC curriculum, they're ready to go. They're ready to think about what's beyond um, their you know, second year uh, as they move into their baccalaureate degrees. And so by the end of this year, we will have established the means for students to consume, continue to pursue their bachelor's degree in Pitt through our uh, CUNY BA program, which is a unique uh, interdisciplinary studies program that we have at CUNY. What I should also say is that we will have many students from our cohort that are moving on to baccalaureate degrees, not in Pitt, um, but in more traditional ways of studying communication, psychology, and fine arts. However, they, are, they know that they're going to be bringing a pit perspective to those fields as well. And so we feel like that's going to be a really interesting thing to follow um, as we um, will continue to um, follow up with our students as they continue on to the baccalaureate degrees. Um, Another interesting part of our program is that we're working with our in-house tech incubator uh, to build a marketable credentialing program that will be deployed in January, which will lead to, to students from our first cohort being able to um, gain a marketable credential focused on human-centered design uh, that will pertain to uh, social justice issues. We are very encouraged by the enormous effort, recent effort that we see within the Pitt University Network uh, to support career development and opportunities within tech and beyond. And so we're excited about building our relationships with regional partners um, that uh, are kind of focused on, you know, how do we help students uh, imagine a careers uh, that have a Pitt focus. And this is supporting our goals as we move towards scaling up our efforts in year three. In year two, you know, we've we've have you know sort of 
encouraged and, and established our strong commitment at the College of Staten Island and at CUNY more broadly uh, to Pitt. And uh, we see this as, especially at CSI St. George, as critical to helping us brand what makes us unique. Uh, and uh, you know the goals of New America and in the funding um, and the network uh, has supported this uh, enormously for us over the last two years. All of our activities have really been student focused and aimed at actively leveraging the assets that students bring to this as a guiding voice for what the future holds, um, as well as to encourage buy-in to uh, public interest technology. And we want to encourage CUNY and the university network to use PIT um, to use Pitt to center our new discourses in anti-racist and anti-poverty movements and to leverage locally driven solutions to social injustices. And so we see this as our unique contributions to the network in that we consider our curriculum and our student involvement to be extremely place-based in year two. And as we move into year three, we're going to have um, real tangible um, examples of how we're investing our knowledge is into how we can help build community capacity around things like food insecurity and challenges as it relates to climate change. And, and, and in this, we look forward to the ways in which we can use PIT to engage regional partners in academia, industry, and the community to drive workforce transformation for a 21st century post-pandemic world. Thank you. Mm -hmm.